All right, everyone, with this short attention span webinar, we go to the wood, not the woods, <laughs> the wood. The, the hundred a, acre. The hundred acre wood. And <laughs> I just I just showed this to, to Kelly. And Kelly, I cannot tell you how I came up with this one, but I, I was on, I think I was on an airplane and I wrote this. I was coming back from LA or going out to LA or something. And I wrote this and I thought, oh, Kelly's going to love this one. I do love it. So what would the cast of characters on Winnie the Pooh, what would they teach us if they were sales trainers? Now, this first <laughs> one might be a challenge because... Kelly, how would you describe Eeyore? Well, Eeyore, Eeyore is, I mean, aside from being a little bit of a downer, he's just kind of steady. <laughs> a little he, bit. <laughs> yeah, he's a little bit of a downer. He's, But he's, you know, he's very steady. He's very straightforward. He mm -hmm. never, ever shies away from speaking the truth to people. I mean, that's for sure. He, he tells it like it is, although he has a bit of a, um, a pessimistic slant to it. You know, he's a little bit of a doom and gloom guy, but he's, I would say he's probably always prepared for the worst. He, he doesn't really expect anything but the worst. He always expects to be kind of forgotten and treated badly, but he's, um, he's definitely prepared. Okay, so that's interesting because you said prepared for the worst. You would think to yourself, well, what, where in the world would you come up with an argument that would say it's a good idea to be an Eeyore, but don't you think with your existing accounts, you need to be prepared for the worst. Sure. Right? So looking at an existing account saying, oh, no, we're doomed, <laughs> then you'd be ready to lose the account. Or you think to yourself, I'm going to lose the account. And then what would your action be, Kelly? Yeah, this, I mean, I think this would almost encourage you to be defensive and offensive. So you, th mm. you think from a protective standpoint, how do I protect this account? How do I make sure um, that this account is secure? And then how do I go on the offensive and make that happen? And that's going to be things like um, making sure they understand how important their business is, make sure that they know that I'm there to bring them new ideas, make sure that they see me as a valuable resource and a trusted advisor and not just an order taker who's there to collect commissions. All right. Okay. So there you go. Now we've done the tough one. This is probably the easiest one, right? What are the characteristics surrounding Tigger? Well, Tigger is very enthusiastic. He's got a ton of energy. He, um, he doesn't necessarily look before he leaps. He's kind of a risk taker. He's just all about exuberance and, um, and having fun in the moment. So he's, you know, he's your energy. He's your cheerleader. He's your, come on guys, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's not think about it. Let's just go kind of a guy so and and where does that apply for sales or maybe where doesn't that apply to sales well it, again if I were if I were counseling somebody who was doing a lot of prospecting maybe somebody early in their career or somebody that was finding themselves in a situation where they needed to build I would say this is where you just need to kind of jump you know you need to be um, very again enthusiastic nothing hurts Tigger he doesn't get his feelings hurt or anything like that so you have that kind of thick skin that um, you know that that kind of let's just see what happens which is very much what's required when you're when you're cold calling you've got to be able to um, just move on from opportunity to opportunity not let anything hurt you and just keep on plugging away keep on bouncing and, you know, success and happiness are both self-fulfilling prophecies. You can get out there and say, I'm going to be successful today. I'm going to be, I'm going to have a great, fabulous day today. And which is the polar opposite of what Eeyore believes. And that, you know, you put yourself in that frame of mind. It is the very definition of self-fulfilling prophecies. And yeah. finally, there's Pooh Bear. And, and this was the one that we talked before we went and hit the record button. We talked about the characteristics of Pooh. And we talked about, we said, innocence. Yeah. Right. Oh, Christopher Robin Cur is also innocence. Yeah. What else? And certainly curiosity. I mean, Pooh's okay. always. Um, and the thing about Pooh too is that you kind of have to repeat yourself with him a lot, which I think again is a real. <laughs> as it, it's just occurring to me right now, we have to be that kind of repetitive message to our customers mm. because we know that they have a very short. They have a short attention span, no offense, <laughs> folks, um, but they also forget a lot. You mm. know, Pooh's always saying, oh, I'm a bear of very little brain and, you know, all it is up there is fluff, you know, so we have to keep reminding people, remember, this is why you do business with us. Remember that we do this. Remember, we can also do this for you. 
Um, so you're just kind of this patient um, source of information that's going to continue to be there. And he's very consistent and he's very loyal. You know, so those are all things that we really see as very valuable in our both our customers and our um, our vendors is loyalty um, and curiosity and things like that. He's also very simple, so he doesn't complicate things. He doesn't try and come up with a, a grand scheme when a simple approach will all will do just as well. Uh, you talked yep. about him being curious. I love that. He's going to go into a situation and, and ask some very basic questions. So you're going after uh, someone, uh, a prospect that's doing business with someone else, and you've got that Pooh Bear approach saying, well, tell me why you're doing it that way. Well, that's mm -hmm. the way you've always done it. Okay, but what's the outcome of this? And so you know what? You learn something from from each one of these, I think you, a good sales rep has a little bit of Eeyore, has a little bit of Pooh Bear, and has a whole lot of Tigger, a whole lot of enthusiasm. <laughs> and you can put those three, three things together. I think you'll make uh, A.A. Milne very, very proud of <laughs> the sales training that uh, he didn't intend, but he got across anyway. So, all right, Kelly, well, there you go with your, with your, kids you can now teach them how to be good salespeople just using those <laughs> lessons outstanding thanks all right. bill all right thanks everybody we'll talk to you on the next short attention span webinar